So the final thing we're going to do is essentially the same example again, but this time in Python, because Python makes your life even easier than this. Um, and Python might be the thing, you know, if you want to work in C, you probably just are going to end up using the IDE because your life's easier. But if you want to work in Python, you can't use the IDE. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do an example in Python real quick. So if you go back to your home folder, so either just cd to tilde, so it'll take you back to your main folder. Some of you have already done this, but there's a second git repo called python-pcduino. So if you haven't already grabbed it, you need to do another git clone. Uh, so if I copied this onto your machines, you already have this as well. But if you don't already have it, you're going to do a git clone. If you look at the website, the address is just the same as before, only instead of C environment, it's python pc git. So if you run this command, git clone, https, colon, slash, slash, github.com, slash, pcduino, slash, python, dash, pcduino.git. And mine's going to complain because I've already done it. But if you haven't done this, go ahead and run this. Your end goal should be next to the C environment and your other home folder stuff. You should now have another folder called python, dash, pcduino. Is anyone having trouble getting this python folder? Does everyone raise if you do not have the Python folder yet? Okay, good. So if you go into the Python folder, so we're going to cd in the Python PC Duino. If we do an ls, uh, we'll see the structure is a little bit different. There's this samples folder, this PC Duino folder, and a setup.py. We really don't care about this. What we want is the samples folder again. So we go into samples. So if you're familiar with Python, Python's a scripting language, so it runs in an interpreter. So unlike C, there's no need to run make. There's nothing we have to compile first, right? Um, so Python, you don't have to make anything. You can just change whatever you want and then go ahead and run it. So if we go into the sample folder, you'll see there's a couple of samples here. There's an ADC test. This is for the analog to digital converter. Uh, we're not going to mess with that yet. Instead, we're going to go to the Blink LED test. So if we CD into the Blink LED folder, and you'll see there's this blink led.py. So by default, this is set up to use pin 18, which isn't even exposed on your board. So we are going to need to edit this file before you run it. So if you just want to use the leaf pad editor, so if you do leaf pad blink led.py, it'll open this up. You'll note that this is essentially the same thing we were running before, only it's Python now instead of C. So same kind of stuff. We have a setup that's basically telling it to make our pin and output pin. We have this little delay command that just is telling it to sleep for you know some value in milliseconds. And then we have our main loop that's going to turn it on for some time, turn it off for some time. <coughs> the thing we need to change is this LED pin. Yours will say GPIO 18. You need to make it match whatever you have your LED plugged into. So for most of you, that's probably one. So if you change this to GPIO 1, and then if you save the file, so just go file, save, close this. And because it's Python, we just run it by typing in Python. And then we can just do blink led.py. And in theory, your LED should be blinking again. Same kind of deal, you hit control C to exit. So now we're back to the land of it being pretty easy to edit, right? You just pop open leaf pad, write whatever Python you want, close leaf pad, and all you want. Questions on that? Okay. So it is currently 8.30. Um, that was all the material I was going to cover. There's obviously lots of other example code in that C environment in the IDE. Python doesn't have as much extra example code, although you can probably figure it out by looking at the C examples and you know writing something similar in Python. Uh, the next half an hour, I was just going to let you guys play. There are other sensors up here, so in your hands, you have a temperature sensor as well. There's temperature sensor examples, so you can fire back up the IDE, plug in that temperature sensor, and play with it. If you want to play with a button, if you want to play with a buzzer, or if you want to play with a light sensor, I have those up here. Um, I'll be walking around and helping people help your neighbors, obviously, if you know what's going on. Uh, if you want to leave, you're welcome to leave, but I will be sticking around for the next half an hour and helping people out if you want to play with it some more. Next week, we're going to be focusing more on kind of walking through a full project. So this is your chance to kind of get a feel for what's available okay. and what you might want to do with it before I start dictating how to kind of go through and do some of it. Are there any questions? 
Okay, I'm going to shut off the camera. I'm going to start walking around. If people want extra sensors, come up here and you can grab them.